Uh, it's good weather, at least uh, today for it and tomorrow possibly as well, but it's going to change and we're going to show you all those details in just a few minutes. want to show you uh, first, though, we were talking about the Mariners just a few seconds ago and you know the Angels are coming to town uh, 710 tonight at T-Mobile Park and here is your forecast if you're going to the game. So not too bad of a night. Of course, the roof will be open, so that's uh, good news. We take a look at the rest of our uh, forecast uh, here and we, uh, you know, we're keep hitting the button and it's not going anywhere. So we're going to go back here and do it that way. There you go. There's our current temperature throughout the region right now and you can see temperatures uh, in the mid to upper 60s for the most part throughout the entirety of western Washington right now and right now in Seattle our temperature 65 degrees so not too bad of a day outside right now we do have sunshine as we've been mentioning of course we've got a great view here of the ferries and of course the stadiums and just a nice day I uh, want I always get interested in this camera so I like to show it whenever I'm on the viaduct camera here this big arm is uh, tearing that thing down so it's good uh, viaduct tear down weather as well so not much rain we'll take a look at Anna some other places are seeing some more clouds, uh, mainly on the coast. A little further south as well, we're seeing some clouds too. Tomorrow, Anacortes. We'll take a look at the forecast throughout the day for you guys tomorrow. It's going to get up to right around 60 degrees. Here's a look at the uh, whole calendar for the month of March. You can see it's a tale of two months. First part of the month was below average, and then the second part of the month was above average. We finished yesterday with a high of 68, and that's where we're going to be today as well. Second driest month, March ever at SeaTac, as you can see here. Here. Uh, the driest was back in 1965, so not much rain, as you know. Found to show you the radar, and you can still see, though, that uh, as you make your way south of Chehalis, rain is moving, but it's moving slowly, and it's not coming up into our area until late Tuesday into Wednesday morning. So tomorrow will stay dry for the most part until later in the day. That's what I'm going to show you here with our future cast as we take a look at it through Tuesday at 5 p.m. The clouds move in. That could keep things a little bit cooler tomorrow, but then we're going to start seeing some scattered showers for your morning commute, and then throughout the day as well. And then we just have rain at times throughout the entire rest of the week and onto the weekend. It's going to be pretty wet as well. Now let's take a look at the extended forecast. See what's going to happen for you tomorrow. We're still saying tomorrow partly sunny and a high of 68, although that's going to back off a little bit when those clouds start moving in throughout the rest of the day. Showers and breezy on Wednesday and then you can see Friday, Saturday, Sunday into the weekend. Yeah, spring is back. Rain at times. You're certainly going to need those boots if you're up at the Tulip Festival. So we send it back over to you guys.